Hello there. All of you know that these are ESP32 development boards from different manufacturers. Here is a new cube shaped ESP32 module with a small 0.85 inch IPS color display. This is called Atom S3 by M5 Star. So, in this video, let's see the complete details including the programming of Atom S3. So, let's get started with this video. So, the Atom S3 comes in this plastic enclosure. After opening, we can see the cute little Atom S3 module. The size of this module is about 24 by 24 by 13 mm. On the bottom side, you can see everything is labeled perfectly. The Atom S3 is based on ESP32 S3. It has a built-in MBU6886 3-axis accelerometer and gyroscope. Also, it has a built-in infrared transmitter. The Atom S3 comes with 6 programmable GPIOs. On the side, we can see the USB Type-C port and a HY 2.04 pin socket for connecting other I2C devices. The display is a 128 by 128.85 inch IPS LCD display. There are two buttons on this module. One is on the side and another is under the display. The under display button is programmable and can be accessed by pressing the display. So that's all about the specifications of M5 Stack Atom S3. Now let's see how to program this tiny module. We can program this with Arduino ID and UI Follow ID. We can just install the boards on Arduino ID and can be programmed just like any other development. Here I am going to try UI Flow platform because it is new to me. For that I downloaded the M5 burner from the website. Then open it and log in with your email ID. Now select the Atom S3 from left hand side menu. Now connect the S3 with PC. Then press and hold the side button until the green LED flashes. Now the Atom S3 is in downloading mode. You can see the connected message on screen. Now select the UI Flow 2.0. Then click on configure and give your SSID and password. Then click on next. Then click on ban. So that will bend the UI flow in our Atom S3. This is just like a firmware or a driver for UI flow platform. Now you can see the interface on the Atom S3. Now we need to go to the UI flow web ID. So this is the UI flow web ID. First, you need to log in with your same email ID that you used previously in M5 Burner. In the middle, you can see three options that are Block, Split and Python. We can use Python or Blocks to program. We can see both by using Split option. On the left hand side, we can see the Atom S3 because it automatically detected our module. Now, we can connect the module by clicking here. Now, you can see the connected message. We can use the tools to edit the interface of our display. Here first let's display some text. For that I drag and drop the label icon from the side menu. Now we can edit the label. We can change the text, color, background color etc. We can use this run button to demonstrate it lively on our module like this. Now you can see the text in our module. To prevent the use, we can use this download button and bed. Next, let's display an image. For that, we can use the image tool. Since our display resolution is 128 by 128, we have to use similar images. Here you can see the OK. Now we are going to use the blocks. First as you can see here we have two sections that are setup and loop. Just like the functions of Arduino IDE. On the left side you can see the blocks. We use these blocks to make the code. First I added a button condition. That is we can add any scenario when the button A is clicked. Here I am changing the screen background color to red. Very easy. Now I run the code and you can see the working. When I click the screen it changes to red color. Now let's set up the blocks to turn on one LED when I press the button, okay? For that we need a pin block, we can select any GPIOs and we need to set the pin as output just like Arduino coding. Now I change the background color to pink, then I set the pin to hide. Next I added a delay of 1 second. After this we need to go back to the home screen. For that I set the image again. So this block means when I press the button A, the background color changes to pink and the pin out goes to hide. After 1 second delay, display shows the previous logo. So I run the code again. Okay. 
the LED glows and the display changes to pink when I press the button. Perfect. This is the first time I'm using block coding and that worked perfectly for me. In the coming videos, I will use the item ST to build different projects. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribe. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.